guys, it's uh, Bitwest Fishing Pros. Uh, here today, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about what I do off season when it's winter time. There's a lot of things I do off season. Um, there's so many things that you can do. Not to get bored. Um, or have a, like a cabin beaver, you know. I mean, right now I'm having a cabin beaver. I mean, March will be here pretty soon. Um, I work out, you know, you know, just 20 minutes or 20 minutes to an hour of the time. Work out, eat something healthy for next year or for your upcoming season, you know. Just stay healthy. I'm trying to stay healthy because, you know, when you're on the road to, like, a tournament, you know, you should bring, like, fruits here, sandwiches, you know. Don't eat out, but it's hard. But because all your friends are going to go out there, go to McDonald's or go to, like, a bar grill and have a couple beers or whatever. So, one thing I like to do when it's off-season well, there's snow on the ground, ice, whatever's out there. So, I like, I subscribe to the Fast Master University. And it's got like the ultimate tips and techniques series. So, I have a bunch of them over there. I got like cold fronts, how to fish in them, how to do this, and blah, blah, blah. All kinds of tips by these, all kinds of professionals. Um, there's other videos, how to find brush piles, how to find bass, how, how to fish rivers and lakes and stuff like that, how to fish fox. It's one of the, it's, I watch them all the time. Or you can go on YouTube and there's so many videos that you can learn all those anglers that they're really to help you during, up, you know, off season. So the next thing is, I get bored. This book is so motivated. It's by, it's called Fishing of the Edge. It's by Mike, I can call it. Mike, uh, it's uh, Mike Ike. And he's a 2003 Best Master Champion, or the classic. And I read this almost every year. I never get bored. He's one of the best uh, Fast Master Elite Tour anglers. He's an awesome angler. Um, if you read this book, you will learn so much from him. And you get so motivated from him. this guy, Mike, the Elite Series angler. You'll read this stuff. Okay, so, and then the next thing is, I love reading these, the Best Master magazines, uh, I subscribe to these magazines, and uh, it gives you all kinds of stories, you know, how much, just the glasses, like the Coast of Costa Del Mar Rooster. It tells you all stuff about it. I like the Rios, the Fluger, President, President Limited Edition. It, it tells you all kinds of, like, you know. You learn a lot of things on these things. All these professional anglers, you read this stuff, it gets you going. That's the other thing I ever do. I have three years or three, four years of these. So I just read them over and over. So. Also, we get the best times. If you guys don't have this, you should. And best time is more of like a, a quick newspaper of what's going on at the, you know, the tournament angling, whatever's going on. So it's telling you, like in here, like 
How to fish shallow for cold water bass. See, like the spots, hot spots, and stuff like that. You read this stuff, and then when it gets to March, do it, man. It's awesome. It's how you learn. I learned all kinds of things on this, and then once I get out of the water, I use those techniques, what they taught me, I'm going to use them. And so, when it's off season for me, for the tournaments, um, I like to go back of my locations. I get the, the Iowa Fishing Maps, Map Guy, and uh, it's got like contours. If you guys know how to read contours, um, it's got like Lake Iowa, Diamond Lake. It tells you what county it is. Easter, Hawthorne. There's so many lakes in Iowa. Like, let's say, for example, this is a West Boji Lake, Uncle Joby Lake. And it tells you, like, the contours and stuff like that. What I do is I get on my laptop and the TV and this. And I just read them all over what spots I want to go next year. Like, to pre-fish, if this, you know, I like circle them. You know, you can go on Google Maps. That helps a lot. Or you can go on your phone and you can get the Navionics. I haven't got that yet, but I am soon. So, that's why I do this. Like, if, like, let's say if you're from California, Florida, I'm sure the Sportsman's Connections got these for you. If you're a cool angler, this is the best book to get. You know, I mean, I got that from a friend. So, other thing, you should, like, organize your plastics, organize your jigs, organize your crankbanks, organize all your tackle. Buy some more tackle that you're going to use for next year. Um, clean your reels once or twice, you know. If, it'll be just sitting there. I mean, over there. And, uh, you know, just clean your rods. Make it look good for next year. Um, Respool your lines. Uh, Respool your reels and all that. Um, to sharpen up your hooks, all kinds of things that you can do off season. Don't be lazy. Just don't sit on your couch, eat potato, potato chips, and watch Netflix. No, go out, get your stuff ready for next year. Be motivated, or you can also watch Ike Life on Sundays or whatever is gonna be on the computer on your phone. You know learn you know get on facebook get on fastmasters.com or the flw.com you, you learn you got learned you just learn and learn and learn or you can write the stuff down you know what you want for next year and then you work your way up to get that stuff you know there's so many things you can do off season hopefully this actually helps you you to be a better angler from last year. So, um, hit the like button, subscribe, and, you know, and also, please, tell me what to do, or my brother, what you want us to do next. I'm trying to get these ideas. Well, I'm gonna be getting, like, a MacBook soon. And I'm going to do all kinds of cool edits and stuff like that. And it'll be all cool, like, fishing videos. And, you know, stay tuned for more. Hopefully this was a good video for you guys. And stay tuned for more.
subscribe, and like that button, you know, that thing right down here. Um, well, have a nice day, guys.